Hey guys, welcome and ting and ting and ting. Back with another one for you, and uh, we're going back to Romania, y'all. You know what I mean? And this one is called Museum of Remarkable Women, the Romanian IA. I do believe it is. Somebody suggested this to me, and I'm really excited to watch it because you know, I, I don't get a whole lot of videos that are centered towards the women and their place in history much you know it's always a mix and match and it's always important you know to figure out you know what the vibe is so let's go ahead and youtube and sim simmer and see what this have to teach us <music> Princess Ilana 
present. I'll be honest with you. You know what I mean? Uh, they're saying that uh, it was like uh, the wear of the pole before uh, one person wore it and then they really start wearing it. But, you know, when I was a young and I saw people, wear, women wearing this, and when I did all the history reading and, you know, just did all my research, I think of a maiden when I saw somebody wearing this. Regardless of whether if they're walking after a sheep or they're riding in a, in a beautiful carriage or in a fancy schmancy car, the, the outfit just sort of seemed maiden. And that doesn't mean weak or anything like that because the first woman that they spoke of she she was the strong in the revolution and she wore those things you know what i mean uh so that's what i thought of when i when i see it you know and it's kind of cool i just wish people would be wearing more of their traditional clothes in their country you know what i mean but unfortunately when one culture becomes dominant their, their customs sort of try to, their customs start to dilute other cultures that they again they become influenced on, and uh, people's traditional wear becomes uh, that you know costumes instead of just traditional wear things people wear all the time like the kilt in Ireland, you know what I mean? Very rare people wearing kilts anymore, you know and. Uh, I just wish people, you know, like for instance in my country, a lot of people still wear African wear, like dashikis and stuff like that, you know what I mean? They still wear it. Not as prevalent as when I was growing up, I used to wear those all the time, you know what I'm saying? People just use it now for, oh, he's politically aware, he's an activist, that's why he's wearing it, instead of it just being what he wears, you know what I mean? It's just normal. Same thing with this, the same kind of thing here. Let's keep going observe her mother heritage all her life the salute of the 21 canoes announcing my birth already established my line of duty she said i have been taught to do my duty to my country in all circumstances to be respectful loving and loyal to my family and to my country elena vocarescu is a writer a philosopher twice laureate of French Academy Literary Prize and Knight of Honor Legion. Elena was Romanian ambassador to the League of Nations between 1922 and 38, and she was the only woman with such rank in the history of the League. Princess Marta Bibescu was a celebrated writer, a style icon, described by Marcel Proust as not only a splendid writer, but a sculptor of words, a musician, a purveyor of sense. Wow. Marta Bibescu was one of the most active and influential Romanian political figures before and during Second World War, especially for her espionage activity in support of the Allies. What? Many Romanian artists were hard catching in traditional folk costume, but none so charming and mesmerizing as Maria Tanase the voice who could melt even the stone. One of her most beautiful moments was for sure at the International World Exhibition in 1939 in New York, singing in front of President Roosevelt, Enescu, Mehnuchin and Andrejid. Virginia Alexandrescu Haret is the first woman with title of architect in the world. Virginia broke the wall by the door of honor her strong nature and unique talent conquered the world and opened the path of women in architecture. All her works preserved wow. as a personal touch Romanian traditional marks. Dark chocolate eyes, slim and shy. But what a woman, Smaranda Braescu. She was the first fascist Romanian woman, European and world champion. She was decorated with the Aviation Virtue Order, Golden Cross, and set many world records during her life. But Smaranda was also part of White Squadron, a unique team of 14 flight attendants female who flew medical aircraft during the Second World War. Wow! Florica Bagdazar is a doctor specialized in child neuropsychiatry with a PhD at Harvard. 
In 1947, she was the first woman appointed to a head of a ministry in Romania of health. She chose medicine in 1921 because at that time it was unacceptable and against the nature having a girl at polytechnics. Ooh. Anna Aslan is a doctor, a Romanian Academy member, and is also the founder of Gerontology in Europe, the inventor of Endless Youth. Of course, with the support of Gero Vital, the first worldwide dystrophic treatment. Elvira Popescu, or Elvir Popescu, was a member of the National Theatre of Bucharest and star in some silent movies. But she becomes a great diva on Paris Boulevard Theatre in the 30s. Henri Matisse, the famous French painter, was inspired by her charm, wearing traditional ia in a no not less famous painting, La Blouse Romaine. Okay, that was quite interesting. All those women, uh, the first woman to break the barrier in architecture, could still see some of her buildings around there. Wow. I need to I need to delve in more into women in history on this channel too, you know what I mean? A lot of it is like the war and men doing all of this and all, you know. I need to get into more into the women in history. Whoever sent this to me, thank you very much for sending it to me. I thoroughly, uh, I learned a lot here. A lot of the things I didn't know uh, about, you know, women in Romanian history to begin with, but women who should be known around the world for the things that they have done. You understand what I'm saying? Thing? I leave a link in the description to this video, you can go check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I uh, put out new videos. And I do that pretty much every day. I skip a day or here too because I do work also. But it's pretty much every day. And uh, hey, uh, I'll also leave links to videos that I've watched, uh, I've reacted to on Romania and other countries in the world too, because we need to learn about each other and what's going on with us, okay? In the meantime, you know, hey, y'all take care of each other, all right? Cool runnings.